Hey everyone, welcome to another video on the playlist. In this video, we'll be talking about like how to create a Kafka consumer application from where we'll be reading the data from the Kafka topic, right? So in your previous video, we have used a Kafka producer to produce the messages. So I think we have already pushed like 20 messages. So let's see like how to create a Kafka consumer application using Python. So let me go to PyCharm so this is basically the same way like you have to define some configuration here F few configuration that's common between kafka producer and uh, consumer that is this three four properties here so you define the boot sub servers you define the protocols username and password and you define a client id so this is nothing but uh, this is a unique identifier that you're providing to the uh, kafka consumer and you define a group id so basically if you're creating a consumer group application so you have to define the group id here correct and you define the auto offset reset if this is earlier so this is regarding from where you want to read the messages right mm. so if this is earliest that means you want to read from the earliest offset that is exist in that particular topic right so this could be earliest as well as it could be latest latest means whenever some new messages come in that topic you want to read only those those particular messages right so this really depends upon your business use case that you have so we'll be talking about more on this whenever we go to spark structure streaming and we'll see like what are this particular how to create a checkpoint how to uh, use that particular one right so for now you can just think about like early assessment trading from the earliest offset correct so you can define auto commit as fault because we'll be doing commit from our code itself and how much what's the minimum uh, size of the messages you want to read right so it's like uh, one kb fetch minimum one kb at a time correct then what you do is you initialize the kafka consumer you define what topic you want to read from it defined what's the subscribe so basically you subscribe to this message because the consumer application will keep on running because you want to wait for the data to come as soon as the data come you you subscribe to it and you do your processing right and what i'm doing is we will be having a while loop because you want to just wait for the messages to come so this application will keep on running right so i am using like for every one second i'll be reading i'll be tr i'll try to read the messages if message is none then you'll just continue if there are any errors in the messages then you can just uh, raise that particular error right and if there are no errors, that means that you have successfully read those messages. So from message that you read, you can define what's the key and what's the value for that message, right? So uh, this is where you committed. Committed, we'll talk more on this whenever we are talking about offset management. So we bas we'll basically see like how Spark structure streaming use uh, offset and how does it come in. So uh, on the high level, if I explain you this, this is nothing but Kafka creates a topic for all the offsets to be kept, right? So what you do is what Kafka does it whenever you subscribe to that particular topic, right? It create an offset in their offset topic. It keeps track of like, okay, this particular uh, consumer application, how much this consumer application have already read, right? So that is called as offset management. So you commit it, you just mentioned, okay, I have already read this message, so I, I'll be committing it. Then this is just some exception clause that if there are any exception, you just print that exception. This is for keyword interrupt, just like if you want to stop this consumer application. And finally, what you do is you close that particular consumer because you do not want to keep on running. So you have already subscribed to it. So once you are done, you can close that uh, particular application the consumer application so i've already run that 
and it will say that you are subscribed to that particular topic and it will start trading those messages right so let's wait for some time so if you see that we are already started trading all those messages and so it already read those messages and it will keep on waiting uh, for reading more messages right so just to showcase what we're gonna do is like we're gonna do like we're gonna produce some more messages so you go to sample producer you just run that so that you produce some messages and we'll see that as soon as we producing those messages it will keep on getting those messages again right so that's very interesting one more interesting thing that i want to mention here suppose let's uh, stop this particular sample consumer right now what you're gonna do is what you might think that if i start this consumer application again it might trade all the data again right so let me show you that so if i run the sample consumer application that it will subscribe to the topic but it's not reading anything right why because whenever we read all those messages right we are committing those messages right what it the consumer does it it commits this message in the kafka topic yeah, they are having uh, a different topic which is called as i think offset topic what it does it it commits the message so that you don't read those messages again right so if you keep on uh, reading those messages you might have duplicates right so this is how consumer application able to uh, only read the latest records right so we'll see like so if you see in our consumer application we are handling the uh, we are not handling the offset management right we are the offset management in the handled by kafka itself we are just committing the messages but what we're gonna see while we are developing the application with spark structure streaming is that uh, we can define our offset in our cloud uh, storage like we can define a uh, offset location in s3 so we'll be managing the offset by ourselves like how much we read from where to read it again so i hope that it is clear to you what i will recommend is you create a consumer application you read it you play with all these properties right so you define from where you want to read it you define how much you want to read it so um, you try you uh, now you know about kafka producer as well as kafka consumer so you play around like producing some data consuming some data so i hope this is clear to you and i'll meet you in the next video